Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another Farming Smarter Plot Shot. My name is Trevor Deering, and today we're looking at a plot for a client that produces uh, biological insecticides. And today this trial is looking to control diamondback moth in canola. So early on in the trial, uh, we had some pheromone traps out. And throughout this season, so far, we only caught about two moths in our traps. And I've been looking for the larvae in the plots, and I really haven't seen any. But today I came back out. This is my second sweep after about two weeks. And I'm finally seeing the larvae of the diamondback moth. And it just looks like a little, a little caterpillar. They're green with little stripes in them. Um, those are the bigger ones. And then you can have the smaller ones that are a little, uh, little less green. Um, and you really have to look for those in the sweep net. But uh, the diamondback moths are a problem because uh, early on they can eat the leaves. And if you have too many of them, they can, they can defoliate the crop. And later on, the larvae can eat on the flowers and they'll totally destroy the flowers and, and that's what really impacts the yield. Uh, in these plots, we're not seeing a whole lot of damage. So we don't, and we don't have a really high population. We have only about, on average, five moths per 10 sweeps of the plots. But today we're gonna sweep all the plots and get an idea of what our population is. And then we're gonna spray them tomorrow. And then we'll come back after about five days or so and we'll sweep again and we'll see how our chemical did. And we'll also sweep again uh, probably about five or seven days after our, our first sweep after we spray. Uh, and that'll give us a sense of how well the chemical is controlling the diamondback moth. And uh, yeah, that's about the gist of this trial. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and, and you can check out all our co other content on our website, Facebook, or YouTube. Thanks everyone.